What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps to sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take only take the messages resonate. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,258 subscribers or something like that. If you think anyone else would like the channel or could benefit from it or etc. 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 Please feel free to share my channel very publicly. Uh, word of mouth, word of mouth and social media. I very much appreciate it. Single mom of two kids, so it helps support a single mom of two kids with one of her income streams. I appreciate it. Okay, so I received another channeling after the daily tea, so I'm going to offload it. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was, someone is about to find out their co-worker is a prostitute. And uh, for one, and for one, someone's about to find out their co-worker is into bestiality, about to view a video. It's about to mortify the hell out of them. You plug it in, how it resonates? That's disgusting. <laughs> so you plug it in, how it resonates. So somebody's co-worker is a prostitute, and they're about to find out their co-worker is a prostitute. Um, so... They work in the 3D work, workspace and they prostitute um, out in the community. Uh, whatever. Um, I mean, I don't agree with that. Y'all know my stance on that. I don't believe you should pay somebody for sex. If you want to have sex with them, freaking have sex with them. But you shouldn't make money off your body. That's the way I look at it. Um, so somebody's about to find out their co-workers prostitute. That's the first one. The second one I heard... Um, um, someone's about to find out their co-worker is into bestiality and they're about to view a video and be mortified. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, bestiality is basically, um, having sex with animals. Um, when I, I'll, I'll tell you a story real quick. When I was in high school, there was this girl, she was the party girl. I was never a party girl. I never got invited to parties. Never would I want to go to parties. I basically, um, was grounded for like four years of my high school year, years in a damn laundry room. Uh, because of my foster mother. Uh, and that's just the truth. Um, so I basically spent four years in a damn laundry room. By the washing machine. That's the truth. Unless I was at school. Um, so I never went to any parties. Never was the cool kid. Never um, never was invited anywhere. And that's just the truth. I went to work. I went to school. I went to the laundry room. And that's the truth. So. Um, but anyways. When I was at school one day. One of the party girls, she would, uh, she was bragging that she had sex with a horse. So she brought in a video of her actually mounting a horse. True story. And we lived out in the country. We were in a very, very small town. We lived out in the country. I, I don't know how that didn't kill her. And I'm just being serious. It was so disgusting. Um, so anyway, so bestiality, that's just an example. Bestiality is having sex with animals. Um, so I don't know what kind of animal this is, um, that this coworker is about to find out the video of this person having sex with animal. I don't know what kind of animal it is, but, um, apparently that, uh, it's about to mortify somebody, a coworker, um, that's viewing this video of this person having sex with animal or animals. Um, that's pretty crazy. Um. Yikes. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I mean, I love my animals. I couldn't imagine. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going any deeper into that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's yikes. Um, so a lot of co-worker energy. So when are you guys about to find out your co-worker's prostitute? So they sell their body out to the community, I'm presuming. Um, and one, you're about to find out your co-worker likes to have sex with animal or animals. I didn't hear specifically what kind of animals they like to have sex with. You plug it in, how it resonates.
This is going to create huge, a huge wake-up call in you. A huge wake-up call. He, realize the huge hypocritical energy of the past. And you are right. Okay, I heard this is going to create a huge wake-up call in you. A huge wake-up call. And realize the huge hypocritical energy of the past. And I heard you're right. So... Whoever you are, person, you're highly intuitive. Whoever I'm speaking to here, I think you are a person that works in the workforce. I didn't hear where you work, at least not yet. You work somewhere in the workforce. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, one, you're about to find out your co-worker is a prostitute on the side, basically. So they sell their body out to the community. One, you're about to find out they have, like to have sex with animals and you're about to view a video of them having sex with animal or animals. Um, and it's about to mortify the hell out of you and shock you and yeah, Wow. But whoever you are, sir, ma'am, I heard you're about, it's going to give you, create a, such a huge wake up call in you that basically you're going to realize the huge hypocritical energy of the past. And I heard you're right. It was retaliation all day long. Intuitively, you know this and you're right. Okay. I heard it was retaliation all day long and, um, and, um, you're highly intuitive and I heard you're right. So you intuitively knew it was retaliation somebody was retaliated against in the past it could have been you that was retaliated against in the past or somebody you're connected to but somebody was retaliated against in the past whoever this person is and how they apply but however that resonates um you're highly intuitive and you kind of figure that out um and i heard you're right you're right um it could be you that was retaliated against in the past or somebody you're connected to but somebody was retaliated against in the past maybe because there's uh people that are prostitutes that work in the workforce and they don't want to be exposed in, um, to people that don't believe in that kind of stuff or people that like to have sex with animals i mean i don't know that's blowing my mind i'm not saying i'm perfect because god knows i'm not but um that's uh, oh i'm just saying so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys, we're done. Um, love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope this helped. Namaste.